Now look at the second example, few kids like cold water. So kids is basically countable noun because it's plural form are for one kid. So it's plural form will be two kids, three kids. So kids is basically countable noun and few basically add the meaning to the noun, countable noun. That's why few is basically adjective number because it answered the question. How many? It also comes with the countable noun. Assalamu alaikum. Hello viewers. Hope you are all well. And enjoying your life i welcome you all to the channel of long with mw we was don't go anywhere we are starting part three of adjectives in which we will be discussing further aspect of adjectives in english grammar now in order to start part three i want to give you a short recall viewers in part one we have discussed the intro to adjective that what is adjectives in english grammar and we also discuss the position of adjective that where we should place adjectives in english grammar we in part one we discussed the two position of adjective one was predicative position and other was attributive position and then we will in part two of adjectives we have discussed a very important concept and the concept was the why article is adjective in english grammar so viewers if you missed that videos part one and part two go through the channel and watch that video now in part three we will be discussing the types and kinds of adjectives with tips and tricks so look at the native writer have written in their book that there are basically that there are basically these seven types of adjectives in english grammar so the first one is the first one is adjectives adjectives of quality adjectives of quality in this video we will just describe these three adjectives adjective of quality adjective of quantity and adjective of number because if we describe all the adjectives then the video will be so lengthy so in order to emphasize or in order to precise the video or to shorten the video we should discuss adjective or quality quantity and number in this video and then in part 4 we will be discussing the adjective of demonstration adjective of interrogation exclamatory adjective and emphasizing adjective in very detailed and conceptual way so you look at adjective of the quality in this video we will also defining that what is adjective quality what is adjective quantity and what is adjective of number and in this video we will also be discussing the difference between adjective quantity and adjective of number in a very conceptual and grammatical way so they are the basically seven type of adjective one is adjective the quality other is adjective of quantity other is adjective of the number the fourth one is adjective of demonstration it is also called demonstrative adjective adjectives of interrogation which is also called interrogative adjective and exclamatory adjectives and emphasizing adjectives so all these types of adjectives we will cover it in part three as well as in part four in a very grammatical and conceptual way so now we will start from adjective quality that what is adjective quality in english grammar so we will now we will start from the first type of adjective which is basically adjective of quality now viewers, I will be giving you tips and tricks that how to find adjective of quality in English grammar. We will first define that what is adjective of quality. So look at the native writer have written in their book, adjective of quality basically shows the kind or quality of a person or thing. And we know that the name, that the name of person or things are basically called, name of person things are basically called noun. Because we have learned the definition of adjectives that adjectives are those words which basically add meaning to the noun or pronoun in english grammar so adjective of the quality basically shows the kind or quality of a person or thing and simply we can say adjective quality basically shows the kind or quality of a noun in english grammar so look at now in order to find adjective quality in english grammar i am giving you a short trick so the trick is the trick note it down adjective note it down adjective quality adjective quality basically answer the question of what kind of what kind if you question if you question of what kind then the answer that is been given will be 
of adjective of quantity. So this is basically the trick to find that how you will find adjective quality in a sentence. So adjective quality basically answer the question of what kind. So look at look at the example. He is an honest man. He is an honest man. Man is basically noun. And look it, honest. So honest basically add meaning to the noun or pronoun. So that's why honest is adjective. But of what kind? If I a question of what kind, then he is an honest man. That's why honest is basically adjective of quality because it answers the question of what kind. Now look it. Karachi is a large city. So city is basically noun. And those words which add meaning to the noun are called adjective. So large adjective. But Karachi is this city of what kind? So look at Karachi is a large city. So adjective of quality. Large is basically adjective quality. And honest is also adjective of the quality. Because it shows of what kind or what quality of the person thinks. So we have learned that those adjectives which basically show us the kind or quality of a person or thing or in simple we can say those adjectives which basically show us the kind or quality of a noun in a sentence we call them adjectives of quality in English grammar and adjective of quality basically answer the question of what kind. So we were, now we will be discussing the second type of adjective which is basically adjective of quantity in English grammar. So now we will define first that what is adjective of quantity and then we will giving you trick that how to find adjective quantity in English grammar and then through example we will learn it. So starting from the definition. So adjective quantity. Adjective quantity basically basically shows quantity as the name indicate. Adjective quantity basically shows how much. This is a very important word how much. How much of the thing is been adjective quantity. Basically quantity deal with the thing not with the person. So adjectives of quantity basically shows how much of the thing is meant. Now in order to find adjective quantity through tips and tricks. So look it I'm giving you a trick. So look adjective quantity always adjective quantity always answer the question. Answer the question how much. How much. Adjective of quantity basically answer the question basically answer the question how much how much adjective quantity basically answer the question how much so look it for example i'm applying this technique i ate some rice so rice is basically noun because it's a name and look it i ate some rice so some basically add meaning to the noun so some is adjective but if i say how much he say i ate some rice so some is giving basically the answer of how much that's why some is basically adjective of quantity in english grammar so look at again he showed much patience so patience is basically noun noun because the name and he shows how much so much much is basically adjective of quantity and look at he has little intelligence. So intelligence is basically name and naming words are basically called noun. And he shows little intelligence. So little basically add meaning to the noun. That's why little is basically adjective in English grammar. But it answers the question how much. So he has a little intelligence. So little is basically adjective of quality. An important point to remember that adjective of the quantity basically comes with uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Now, when we when we study about in the third type of adjective that what is adjective number, then we will be differentiate between adjective the quality and adjective number in this video as well. So just remem remember that adjective the quantity basically comes with uncountable noun. We will now discuss it in very detail when we will be studying the difference between adjective the quantity and adjective number. So we were, we have learned that adjective quantity basically show us how much of the thing is mean and answer the question how much. So I ate some rice. So some is basically adjective of quantity. So now look at the second example. He show much patient. How much patient? So much basically here is adjective of quantity because it a meaning to the noun patient. And he has little intelligence. So intelligence is basically noun and little is adding meaning to the noun. That's why little is adjective and answer the question how much? That's why little is adjective of quantity. So we have learned up till now adjective of quality as well as now we have learned adjective of quantity.
Now we will be discussing that what is adjective of number in English grammar. So viewers, now we will be discussing the third type of adjective which is adjective of number. So now what is adjective of number as the name indicate adjective of number basically shows how many a very important word adjective quality adjective quantity basically shows how much but adjective of number basically shows how many persons or things are meant how many person or things are meant so now this is basically the definition of adjective of number that adjective of number basically shows how many persons or things are meant so now look at i'm giving you a trick that how to find adjective of number in english grammar so look at adjective of number always answer the question always answer the question how many adjective of number always answer the question how many so this trick to remember that adjective of number basically shows how many and what we have learned in part two of adjective that adjective of num adjective of quantity always answer the question how much but adjective of number answer the question how many so now look at three example we will learn we will apply this trick for example so look at the hand has five fingers so look at finger is basically name and names are basically noun and look at five five basically add meaning to the noun basically five is adjective but if i say the hand has how many finger how many finger so the answer is five finger so five is basically adjective of number because it answer the question how many so now look at few kids like cold water so kids is basically name and names are basically called noun and few add meaning to the noun kid that's why few is adjective but what is adjective few is basically basically if i answer the question if i question how many so few basically answer the question how many so few is basically adjective of number so now look at most boys like cricket so boys is basically name names are basically called noun and most basically add meaning to the noun that's why most is adjective but it answer the question how many how many boys like cricket so the answer is most boys like cricket so most is basically adjective of number so we were now we have learned adjective of quality adjective of quantity as well as now we have learned adjective of number and through tips and tricks we have discussed all these three adjective in very detail grammatical and conceptual way now we will be discussing that what is the difference between adjective of quantity and adjective of number in english grammar so we will now we will discussing three examples the difference between adjective of quantity and adjective of number as we have learned now Recently, the adjective of quantity answered the question how many, how much. Adjective of quantity answered the question how much, why. Adjective of number answered the question how many. But the main difference between adjective of number and adjective of quantity is that adjective of quantity, adjective of quantity usually come, adjective of quantity, adjective of quantity usually come with uncountable nouns uncountable uncountable usually comes with uncountable nouns those nouns which we cannot count are basically uncountable noun but adjective of number basically comes with countable nouns countable nouns are those which we can count and and which we can form the plural form as well so those nouns which we can count are basically countable nouns and those which we cannot count are called uncountable nouns and those whose plural form are formed are called countable nouns and those whose plural form are not formed are called uncountable nouns now three examples we will learn for example i ate some rice so rice is basically noun but it is uncountable noun because we cannot count rice so some is basically some answer the question how much so some is basically adjective of quantity because it come with uncountable noun look at he showed much patient so patient is also uncountable noun and much is basically a meaning to the patient's noun that's why much is basically adjective of quantity so look at again intelligence is also uncountable noun 
and little basically add meaning to the intelligence so little is basically adjective quantity because it add meaning to the uncountable noun so remember the adjective of quantity answer the question how much and it usually come with uncountable nouns so now look at adjective of number so look at the hand has five fingers so finger is basically countable noun because we can count finger one two three four five and countable noun and fingers are with one finger so the plural will be two fingers three fingers so countable noun plurals are formed that's why finger is basically countable noun five basically add meaning to the finger so five is basically adjective of number because it answers the question how many and it comes with the countable noun as well now few kids like cold water so care is basically countable noun now look at the second example few kids like cold water so kids is basically countable noun because its plural form are for one kid so its plural form will be two kids three kids so kids is basically countable noun and few basically add the meaning to the noun countable noun that's why few is basically adjective number because it answers the question how many it also comes with the countable noun so look at the last example most boys like cricket so boys is basically noun but boys is basically countable noun because we can count and the boys plural are also formed and look at most basically add meaning to the countable noun and it also come most basically add meaning to the noun so most is adjective and it come with the countable noun that's why most is basically adjective of number in english grammar so we were we have learned the difference through these example through these example we have learned the difference between adjective quantity and adjective of number usually adjective of quality basically answer the question how much and it come with the uncountable noun while adjective of number answer the question how many and it come with the countable nouns so through these example we have learned the adjective of quantity answer the question how much and it basically and usually come with uncountable noun and adjective of number answer the question how many and it comes usually comes with countable noun so we will hope you understand the difference between adjective of quantity and adjective of numbers so we will in part three of adjective, we have learned the types and kinds of adjective with tips and tricks. We have learned what is adjective quantity, what is adjective quality, and what is adjective number. And we also have learned the difference between adjective quantity and adjective number in a very grammatical and conceptual way. Stay connected with Learn with MW to know further about adjectives in English grammar. So viewers, if you like this video, share this video with your friends. Like. And subscribe the channel as well and don't forget to comment thank you very much